they make tomorrow. Okay. Hi, I'm King Art 70. Today's topic is how to really hold a conversation with a woman. That's right. You heard me right. How to hold a conversation with a woman. How? All you have to do is talk. Okay. Talk to the lady. Let her know what are you all about and what are you into and why you choose to have her number to show interest in her rather than just getting her number and waiting for about two or three days. Most guys wait about two or three days before they contact contact the lady. That's because they're probably already in the progress of talking to other chicks. So they feel in a way that even though this chick is new and they got her number, they can make her wait a, a few or two or three days, which is wrong, all right? Because most women I know of would love to be tacked, would love to be contact within 24 hours, okay? Not three days later, not 72 hours later, and not four hours later, okay? Within 24 hours, all right, of the contact. Okay, so make sure you holding a great conversation with the woman so that woman know that you are into her, okay, and you does not in for the wrong reason. What I mean in for the wrong reason, let her know that you're not in just for the sex, okay? It's more than just having sex with the woman and more than just uh getting things from her, okay. I don't really uh preach uh men trying to use uh women but the man shows interest in the woman he must know how to hold a decent conversation as an adult okay that's basically what this live is about tonight all right so how to hold a conversation with her is to go not to go all in but to let her know what are you coming from and what do you mean by your conversation why are you ask me out she might ask that why you why it couldn't be no other woman why you pick me why because i find you interested all right. And I uh, and I would like to know a little more about you. I don't need to know your whole life story yet, but tell me a little bit about yourself. OK, something like that in that category. All right. That's how you get involved in a conversation with a woman that is decent. OK. And if you can't come up with something to say, begin. Stop being creative. All right. Start talking about stuff. Not what I mean by talking about stuff. I don't mean talk about the birds and the bees. OK. I'm, what I'm trying to say to you is start talking about stuff is related to to what y'all might be shooting towards of, okay? Maybe y'all exchange phone number and y'all had a great conversation about where you work at and where she work at, but y'all didn't went in depth about it, all right? In other words, you didn't went, you didn't, the man didn't went too too deep there. He became too nosy that he had to know everything up front, okay? Don't show that type of neediness and cleanliness and desperate. If a man show that cleaning and needy and desperate to the woman, she basically goes, she basically gonna fall back and she's not going to tell you nothing, all right? So, quite frankly, let it come up in the conversation, all right? What I mean by that? When you are talking about something, you and her, it might come up as a conversation. It might pop up in the conversation, even though you didn't ask her for it, okay? Y'all can be talking about something else, and it came up, all right? That's the best way uh, you can ask a lady where she work at, all, all right? That's how whatever the, the conversation is going. All right, it could be about something else, not not even about work ethic. It could be something like that. So, how long you been living in Connecticut? Uh, well, I came up here. Um, I'm out of college, and then I got a midterm job, and then it turned into I stayed later, and now look where I'm at now. I'm officially a resident of Connecticut. You know, something like that, for that example. So you don't have to feed too much deep into it, where it actually um, that's a good chance of getting to know the lady. All right. So you want to keep it on a low level. All right. Don't ask too much questions. Some people may say if you ask too much question, you might ruin it. OK, so keep it medium. All right. Keep it medium. What I mean by medium, uh, keep it low. OK, keep it low, 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 medium conversation. Don't go overboard and start asking her personal stuff. Why? Because you just met the lady. Right. Why well, ask her all that question? Unless y'all into one another and, and she don't care and you into her and she's into her. And then that's a different story, okay? But she, if she don't seem like she's not that much into you, and y'all begin to to develop, to start the conversation about one another, all right? Take it from there, all right? And be a, take a little baby step, okay? Well, why will you tell me to take baby step? Because you don't want to rush into something that that might that she may not be ready, okay? Just because she gave you a number, I'm a little witness. I know a guy. I know a lady who dated a guy. And I'm gonna tell you a true story. And I'm gonna get back into my topic. And there was boyfriend, girlfriend, all right. And he got he went to college and he got this girl. Right? He was dating his midterm, right? So his his main girl 
or his main chick always complain about everything, right? And to the point that he got pissed off and got aggravated and said, you know what? I just start talking to the midterm because the midterm uh, understands she don't complain because she look at life with a positive attitude. So with her girl, with his girlfriend, who's supposed to be his main chick, always complaining and belly aching about stuff. So what he did, he he dished her. All right, he got rid of her. Hey, Phyllis Brown, how you doing? Welcome to the live. How you doing? Hello, King Art. How are you, my brother? I'm doing good for a Thursday night. Uh, last night I had a lot of people up in here last night. Uh, how you doing tonight? How you doing for a Thursday night? I uh, hope you're doing okay. Uh, I'm doing good for a Thursday. I'm still doing my thing. I'm still grinding. And um, I am going to uh, release my biggest, baddest combos on Sunday. And I can't wait to show y'all guys. It will be a premiere. And I am going to um, do a video about uh, how to get your ex back. I'm going to do one for a woman and one for a man. Okay. So you can have both of both world. All right. All right. Hi, Donald. Uh, hi, uh, hi, Art. Hi, Art and chat. Blessing. Blessing to you. It's a blessing to be in front of you here tonight. It's a blessing to be in front of uh, your family and friends and co-workers and all those who have a positive attitude and, and, and a thing on life, not to those who feel that anybody owed them anything. All right. And I'm talking about those who even been in the army. OK. Uh, even though you choose to do that, I don't owe you anything. OK. You choose to go in the army of your own. OK. I don't owe you anything. We all have our own cross to bear, okay? So don't make somebody feel guilty because you choose to go into the Navy or the Marine. That's your prerogative, okay? I can see that you are still on your grind. Yes, I don't let nothing discourage me, uh, Phyllis Brown. Uh, I'm I'm very focused. I'm probably more focused than now than I ever when I first started this YouTube channel. I'm so focused on everything. I'm focused on my uh, relationship with my woman. We getting along so good. And I like that. And I don't want nothing to come between. I don't want nothing to spoil it. I learned to keep people out of your business. You can't tell people everything on here, uh, such as my Q&A question. I don't tell everybody everything. I only tell you enough for you to know. OK, I don't I'm not going to tell you my personal uh, relationship with my girlfriend. That's personal. Hello, beautiful Donna. Yes. Yes. Thank you, uh, Phyllis Brown. Yes. Donna just being real into the chat. So me and let's get back to that topic. OK. Um, you really have to hold that conversation with that woman, okay? If you don't know how, most guys, and that's another thing that I had, I had witnessed too. It was this guy that I know, he he he, he always had problems uh, talking to women, find out he had, a, he had a problem being rejected, okay? He couldn't handle rejection well. So he asked me, he said, how do you handle rejection? I said, well, women of all shades and color go reject you regardless. Even if you did went to school and got your degree, and even if you did been on your purpose, you got that job, you got your education. No one can take that from you because that's your that's your degree. OK, now, just because you got that, you got the nice cars or whatever. Now, some people, some women might be ills into guy into guys who have cars. OK, even the ugly guy. All right. Just because you got that, it does not mean she's into you. OK, I'm talking with experience. All right. That don't mean she's into you because you got your little. Your little financial in order, you're a better balanced man, you got your car, you pay for your own car insurance, your cell phone, you got your own house or condominium, whatever you decide to have. I don't know. Not all women, just because you got all that stuff in order, it will be hip to you. All right. She may not be into you. Why? Because you not you might not be her cup of tea. All right. Maybe she don't like the way you look. All right. Maybe she don't like the way you dress. All at once, maybe she don't like you at all. Maybe she's nice enough not to be rude and be disrespectful to you. So that's why she probably tried to avoid you, all right? Even though you try to get her attention to talk to her, all right? Most women is not really into a man. She totally will ignore you. She'll keep walking. Why? Because she's not into you, okay? And most guys I know can't handle it. They get mad and they begin to start calling the woman to be the B I T C H. You stuck up, little whore, your little, you know, your little. B I T C H, and they don't realize she's not into you. That's why she didn't stop. All right. That's why she didn't stop and give you the, the time of the day. Okay. Keep it pushing. <clears throat> all right. If I'm a woman, just if a woman reject you, it's all in the game. Okay. There's nothing me or you or anybody can do about it. You just got to keep going. Don't let it discourage you because some guys they give in and they get they give in to the uh they give in to the to rejection because they got rejected about five or six times 
and they try to go out and talk to another girl, right? They hold it, they hold whatever, they hold other stuff against other women because that one particular girl or the fifth or eighth girl had rejected them. Okay, now you're not being fair, right? You go get rejected, okay? It's part of the progress, all right? There's nothing you can do about it, all right? I got reje I got re I got rejected five times. Now look at me. All right. Sometimes you gotta go through something to get something, all right? All right. Now there's some women may it may be ill into a guy who have finance. Okay. Who who don't want who doesn't want a man who are finance stable? We all do, right? Okay. Or women, all right? So eh. sorry, excuse me, I'm yawning. So just because you got on your purpose and you did what you gotta do. To get what you got to get at, it does not mean she's into you, okay? That's why I made this video tonight, how to really hold a conversation with a woman. Why I made this video? Because I had a great conversation with a woman that I never saw in my whole entire life. And I met her yesterday. She came on my job and she said, sir, she called me sir. She didn't, she didn't know my name because I don't wear my name back. I said, yes. I, said, I regret her as yes. She said, can you recommend, can you recommend which concrete is good for mailbox setting, mailbox setting in real estate. I said, oh, so what you try to do is you want to know what kind of concrete is fast so you don't have to wait, so you don't have to wait and wait till it dry. She said, yeah, I said, fast setting, fast setting concrete. It comes in a white bag, it's about 50 pounds, and you have white, and they have a white bag and red writings. She said, what I must do? I said, all you have to do, put it in a, um, a pane, pour and stir, pour and stir. Like you, uh, and I say, like you pouring, uh, like you stirring a bottle of, of a uh, of rice or something. She's, oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, hey, Shine Vlogs, thanks for coming into the chat. So when I told her that, she's, oh, okay, that's very simple and easy. So here I am talking to this lady. I don't know nothing about her. All right, she's a sister, a black girl. Right, came in and thing talking. Oh my God, you you know so much. I said, no, I don't know a little bit, just enough to help you out. How about that? So I'm we sitting there, we are holding a conversation. So I didn't ask her where she worked at. She told me, she said, yeah, you know, um, I don't work too. I don't live. I don't. She said, I, live, I work around the corner from your job. I said, oh, what is that? She said, Preston. I said, Preston. Hey, yeah, thank you, uh, Sean Blah. I said, yeah, Preston. I know what Preston is right around the corner from my job. She said, yeah. And I say, uh, she said, I'm, a, I'm just, she said, I'm the human resource manager. I said, oh, OK, well, how you doing? She said, oh, I'm doing good. And, um, she said, what's your name? I didn't get your name. I said, oh, I don't I don't wear my name badge out. Because I don't want nobody to know my name. And she's oh, so she thought that was hilarious, okay? Because I came out and said something. She said, Oh, okay, so what's your name? Be honest. I said, Well, do I get a reward? You know, like that. If I tell you my name, do I get five hundred dollars? Now that you're a human resource manager. She said, Okay, all right, you got jokes. She said, All right, I give in. I don't know. Can I guess? I said, Well, you can guess it, but you're probably not gonna get it. So I kind of like was well, making jokes back with her, and she was trying to find out my name being nosy, so I didn't tell her my name. So at the end, I did told her, I said, hey, my name is uh, my name is Arthur, and I work over there in the pro service desk, all right, for customers. I'm here for you. I'm here to make your job easy, okay? And she's, oh, okay, well, I'm glad. I know. Hey, false prophet, how you doing? I'm doing good. For a Thursday night, how you been? Thanks for coming into the chat. Smash that like button. So she said, uh, oh, okay, so you, you work over there? I said, yeah, I work over here, but I'll be all over the place, and I help people with stuff. That's good. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm glad you're doing good for the night. I'm going to be with about 15, 20 minutes. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back later. I'm going to have a Bible thing going on. So if y'all want to come back and, and set, I'll probably, I'll probably have it running for about two hours tonight or whatever. All right. Okay. So she said, oh, okay, you do? I said, yeah, I do that. And I, I do that sometimes. She said, okay. So she said, well, what's your name? I said, my name is Arthur. And it's a black girl. And she said, oh, my name is Ashley. So I paused. I said, Ashley. That's a that's a Caucasian woman name, you know, like a white girl name. Hey, Justin Ford Jr., what's good? What's up? What's happening? Thanks for coming into the chat. Smash that like button for your boy. <laughs> I'm just joking. How you doing today, Junior? So she said, oh, uh, yeah, my name is Ash. I said, hi, Ash. She had nice straight black hair, and she was about 5'10". She's a little taller than I am. I said, oh, okay, so uh, all right, well, I hope to see you around. Sometime. And she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe in the summertime. I said, all right, well, that's good. Uh, by the grace of God, we hope to see you back again. So we were holding a conversation and stuff like that. And then she kind of wink, wink at me like that while she walking away. So I just smile. So 
So I think she was flirting in a way. All right. And yo, none. And you just smiling day for me. Well, that's good. Of course. Why well, wouldn't I? <laughs> I smile for my buddy Junior. Yep, you are my buddy. You've been uh you've been watching this channel since day one, uh since October uh the 20th. October uh 20 no uh 2011 October um the 10th. Yeah. Hi Sean Falls and Junior. Yep. Thank you, Donald. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, Prophet. How you doing? False Prophet. I like that name. And Junior. All right. And Phyllis Brown. Uh Sean Vlogs. False Prophet. Justin Ford Jr. And Donald just being real. And Phyllis Brown. All right. Thank you all for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Anytime y'all show y'all faces in here, I greatly appreciate it. Y'all do something down in the head. It's from the heart. And when I when I when I talk about these topics, it's from the heart. It's from the heart. Okay. Uh, hi, Junior. I have a question. Who is that beautiful girl in your profile picture? <laughs> uh oh, Junior, you got to answer that one. All right, so let me get on to my topic. Um, so when she walked away and I walked away, and you know, like I said, she winked and I, I kind of smiled and I said, you know what, this should be a good topic. And I don't know how powerful it would be. Maybe not, it may not be a searchable topic, but let me see. All right. So I said, all right, I just do it in the way. See how it come out. All right. If it come out good, it come out good. Hey, Donna. All right. So I did that topic. And then here I am now. Okay. So that's why I say a man should be, I always say a woman should be talking uh 75% of the time. All right. Now, some people believe, or uh, some women believe a man should be doing all the talking. However, I don't think so because I think if a man talk too much, it'll it'll kill the chance of him uh getting the chance to listen to the woman as she speak or less than that woman really like you and if that guy is a talker all right now sometimes a guy can be a talker to the point that it can it can become bored all right and the woman get bored and then she'll uh this is what i believe i think she'll get bored easily and she'll uh, uh um she'll end the uh the date okay she reviews everything living your best life living your best life bum, 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 bum. Living your best life. Living your best life. Bum, 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 bum. What's good? What's up? What's happening? All right. Hello. Uh, hello. Laughing out loud, bro. Watch my new video. Here is the link of it. All right. I'll watch when I get done. All right. Hey, everyone. All right. Let me. I got my iPhone, but let me um, stay on the top of here. Give me one minute. All right. So you have to uh, learn how to talk to the lady. Hey, everyone. Yeah, all right. We're doing good. Learn how to talk to the lady. And if you don't know how to talk to the lady, uh, basically what's going to happen is the lady, if, if you're talking too much and the lady seems like she can't get a word out, and I tell God, it's not a one-way street, okay? And it's not a one-way street. It should be a, uh, uh, a two-way street. You should listen to one while the other is talking, all right? Let me see what Junior got. All right, so learn to listen to um to her. <laughs> I'm watching your video, Junior. Oh boy, Mr. King, I, I will see it. Oh, your video is on the 14 seconds. What's going on, man? What the heck going on with you, Mark? Hey, let me leave a like and a comment. Hold on. Let me get back into the topic. Yeah. All right. I left you a comment. Yo. Uh, so she is my girlfriend. Okay. You better treat her right. Ha <laughs> ha. Treat her like a lady. Treat her like a lady. All right. So you better treat her right, Junior. I saw your picture of you. You're a youngster. All right, you're a young guy. <laughs> you're very young, dude. Very young. You look like Justin Bieber. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was the girl I was talking about. She's She's pretty. You saw what I did? Yeah, I saw what you did, giving people the middle finger. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. So keep her, man. Keep her. She's a keeper. Yeah. Take care of her. Yeah. Remember, she's yours. Yeah. Keep her. Hey, fellas. All right. So let me get back to the topic. I don't want to get off the topic, but I want to show that respect to Junior because Junior always watch my video. Uh, that was for Sonya. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, baby girl Sonya. Don't get her started. She be coming here asking that owe her nine million dollars. Who in the hell will have that much money in their pocket, in their bank? Unless you Michael Jackson. <laughs> or somebody. God bless him. But you know what I'm saying? But other than that, I don't think so. <laughs> a Janet Jackson or somebody, you know, all those big star singer, Diana Ross, you know, uh The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Sorry, I did that laughing. That's all right. You don't have to apologize. That is your channel, man. You the boss of your own channel. All right? All right? So uh, a guy, if, you know, some guys don't know how to hold a conversation with the woman. All right? It's very bad. I say, are you, are you for real? I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I do know how to talk. I do know how to hold a conversation. All right? I know what to say, and I know what not to say. All right. Now, sometimes we can get a little ego thing going on where we think we already know what the woman is going to say. All right. And sometimes we mess up and we misjudge. Right. You go, OK, I thought she was this then. I, you thought wrong. Did you ask her to be your woman? Like, for example, if you like a woman. Right. And you thinking just because she's talking to you and she applying to your text messages. All right. And your phone call. And you, however, in your mind, you believe that she's already yours. No, she's not because you didn't went, you didn't been direct with her. Have you been direct with her? Have you asked her say, hey, look, I know we just met about four or five months ago, but I'm into you. I like you. It's only two things she can say, maybe three. I'm not interested. Right now, I'm not looking to be in a relationship right now because I'm working on my career. I'm going back to school. Thank you. But I'm not, I'm not interested, okay? She might say three out of those things, okay? You got to learn to accept your rejection, all right? I'm talking about the men, young men and men, all right? And if you've been talking to her for about four or five months and you didn't came out and been direct with her, being direct means you're letting her know up front. You're not here to play game. You're not here to be a text buddy or phone buddy when things are bored, okay? You're here to let her know, I'm here. To show that I'm into you, all right? And I'm interested in getting to know you more than just calling you every weekend or two times out of the week or one time on the weekend, all right? I'll either hang it out just to hang out because me and my girlfriend and Bessie doesn't have anything going on this weekend. So let me call Arthur, okay? Because he's not looking for no relationship right now, okay? We just a hangout buddy, okay? Don't do that, okay? Unless you're not attracted to the lady, unless you're not into the lady, then that's different, okay? But if you like a lady and you feel that she owe you anything and you feel that she misleading you, you you didn't you didn't have came uh, you hadn't made yourself known to her. You didn't clarify that you that you into her, okay? You didn't let her know that uh, that uh, you like her like that. All right, you gotta let her know. That's all right, Junior. You don't have to apologize to that. But I, just, I, <laughs> I saw your video though. All right. You don't have to you don't have to um beat her over the head about it. All right. Let her know that um let her know that you like her. If you don't let a woman know that you like her, what what gonna happen? You gonna end up in the friend zone, okay? And you gonna say, Well, she put me there. No, she didn't put you there, you put yourself there, okay, because you you waited too long. <laughs> Mm, fresh air. You drag your feet, okay, and you didn't let her know. So basically, it's your fault, okay? Yeah, ha <laughs> ha. Laughing out loud, you said, yeah. So you drag your feet. This work would have happened. If you want something, jump on it. Even if she rejected you, least you can. Least somebody can't say, "Oh, you a coward." No, you ask her. You ask to go out with her, but she rejected you. Say all you have to say is, "Say, look, I did what I had to do." I asked her out. I can't make her go out with me. Here's how you handle rejection. Accept your rejection. Accept that she rejected you. Move on. All right? Find somebody else to talk to. I'm not saying go out and be a male hoe, a male prostitute. 
That's not what I'm saying. So don't misunderstand what King R7 says. All right. Go out, talk to about five women a day. Even if you don't get one phone number within that time limit. Okay. Put your challenge yourself. All right. I do it. I believe a man or a young man can get a girl phone number within two minutes. If the conversation is going, like the conversation I had with this lady yesterday, I could have got her number if I wanted. Okay. I could have got it. Under two minutes, but I said, you know what? I got a girlfriend. Why would I? Why would I want to be a player? Okay, I got a good woman. Why would I want to mess it up? All right, I don't want to be greedy like that. Now, if I didn't have my girlfriend, I would. I would. I probably ask for a phone number. Okay. Now, some people believe that just because your relationship and everything going good at the moment, you feel somehow y'all made for one another because y'all have the same. The same goal and the same path and the same purpose path to achieve your goal and to become more successful than you ever were when you first got your degree. Some people already have a degree, but some people want to multi multiple tests and do more than just getting a four year college degree or master degree or bachelor's degree. Some people get social degree. OK. All right. It's depending on what they want to do. Let me go further. Let me go beyond that. I want to help people. I want to see people develop. I want to help people with mental illness, okay, or people who have some type of deep admiration of possessed spirit. That's that's very tough because you don't know when that person might turn on you and do you in. So that's a hard job, okay? That's a hard job. Some people go to school for that, all right? Some people go to school to know how to deal with people and how to talk to people who have psychological problems up in the mind, okay? All right, I give I give them props for that. All right, so find somebody who is on the same page and same level. I will say not a better, not a perfect person because there's no perfect person in the world. All right, yeah. Hi, hey Sonya, if you see this, this is for you. <laughs> oh, I give the middle finger. She, hey Donald. Oh God, Junior, you bad. I didn't know you was like this, Junior. You bad. I'm just joking. All right. <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> you breaking my thought. <laughs> so anyway, so um, find somebody. I wouldn't say a bad. I wouldn't say a perfect person because there's no perfect person on the earth. All right, we know that. We get it. We understand. But find somebody who wants something out of their life. Find somebody who know what they want. Who know where their uh their career will be directed. Okay, even if he's not into what you're doing. Or she's not into what you're doing. Learn how to support one another career. What I'm trying to say to you is don't be selfish. OK, even if let's say if I was a doctor, I was going back to school to be a doctor, a dentist or whatever. Hygiene, right? And you going to school to be a teacher. Well, I'm not going to support my husband who he think he is. I'm not going to his graduation when he's done with his his he get his job. He land his job. And don't do that. Don't do that. Because not everybody can be a doctor. Not everybody can be a teacher. Not everybody can sell real estate. Whatever you choose to do. Not everyone can run an online business. Okay, I'm talking of experience. Not everybody can do that. Now, there's nothing wrong learning how to show somebody how to do an online business or whatever they might desire. Let's see what the chat's saying. You are all being silly tonight. Yeah, they are. Yeah, especially Junior. <laughs> Find a person that has a vision. That's right, Donna. Not just have a vision, they own their vision, not a talker. That's right, because talk is cheap. What they say, action speak louder than words. Okay, put your action, put what you put what you say six months ago into action. Okay. Anybody can say, Well, I'm going back to school. I'm going back to school to get my degree. All right. I got a I got a, a four year college teaching the Bible. Let me go back to school and get my master's degree in engineering or whatever. All right. Here's six months went by, a year went by, two years went by, and you don't see me do a dilly squad. I'm just talking, right? I didn't like my, I didn't like what I said. I didn't put in, I didn't put my talking into action. Okay, I'm just shooting a lot of air. Okay, I'm just trying to blow a lot of bull monopoly of someone's behind because I'm not being real with myself. And how can I be real with my woman or the people that are around me who support me all these years? OK, ladies, stay away from. The 
Donald say, ladies, stay away from Dusty. <laughs> they will waste your time. <laughs> Donna, you you, you something else. <laughs> I know Donna. Donna remind me of Charles Gilmore. <laughs> she uh, she reviews everything. Sometimes they can appear one way, <coughs> Donna, but then the dust appear. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Boy, 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 y'all brutal. Y'all are brutal, man. I'm telling you, uh, I don't want to deal with uh, Liv Livin and, and Donald and, and Phyllis. It's like having Mike Tyson here, Avengers Holyfield here, and Buckley Douglas on the other end. It's like you get hit with all three blows. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all are terrible, man. I can't deal with y'all. Y'all too much. All right? Yeah, stay away from Dusty, uh, stay away from dusty Males. Stay away from men who try to run you, and 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 and, and, and another thing too, and another thing too, and this is for the women. Don't let men use you, okay? Just because he may help out with some bills, okay? He don't control your life. You control your life the way you want it, okay? I'm not saying be disobedient to your man, all right? That's not what I'm saying, all right? Hello, Gerald. Channel host, what's good? What's up? What's happening? Thank you for being here. How are you? I'm doing great for a Thursday night. Thank you so much, host. Oh, you're welcome. I'm still running your playlist, all right? I'm going to run them to the kingdom come. <laughs> all right, let me see what Donna's saying. She reviews everything. I can't smell it dusty a mile away. <laughs> I always have my makeup on. <laughs> Um, hair done, nails done, dress night, Dusty can't handle that. Whoa! That's like shooting raid for, for roaches and ants. Yeah. Uh, hello, she reviews everything. You hit that nail hard on the head. That's right. <laughs> hit it with all full force. Hit it so hard till you break the handle. Bam! Like this hammer here. Let me show you. Here's the hammer. I ain't going to break my computer, though. Well, like that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Vanessa and Junior. What's up? Hey, Junior told you told me. Um, Vanessa, Junior. Hey, Junior told me so much about you. Okay, you must. Are you Junior girlfriend? It's an honor to meet you. My name is Vanessa. It's really nice to meet you. Thank you for all the lessons you've been showing. Thanks for doing that. Oh, you're welcome, Vanessa. Make sure you're not a stranger. All right? Make sure you're not a stranger. Junior been on this channel since day one, since I made this account. So Junior was my first youngest uh, of them all. All right? Watch me since it was in fifth grade. So a big shout out to Junior. Thank you, Junior, for letting her know uh, about King Art 70. Uh, I'm, more, I'm more of a... Uh, a, a family man here, and um, these people in this chat are all my family, all right? Yes, thank you, Vanessa, for coming in here. Hi, Jer. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Jer. She reviews everything. Vanessa, hello, she reviews. Donald, hello. Uh, Donald is being real. This is live screen. It is lit. Yeah, it's lit tonight. Lit like a fire. <laughs> Anybody got matches? <laughs> is it really nice to meet you? Oh, of course it's nice to meet me. I'm King Art 70. The one and only. I'm just joking. Yes, it is nice to meet me. I'm very loyalty. Uh, Junior is like a son to me. And I love Junior. Uh, uh, when Junior hurting, I'm hurting. All right. Uh, Art, right, you missed my comment. Scroll up. Laughing out loud. Nice to meet you, Vanessa. Ha ha. Laughing out loud. Oh, my God. He tell me about you. Oh, thank you, Junior. Donna, what comment I miss? Hold on, guys. All right, sorry, Dusty, don't help out with, oh, okay, I got it. All right, sorry, Dusty, don't help out with, oh, okay. Yeah, they don't help out, Donna. They're a bunch of dusty, dirty males who take advantage of women, all right? I don't like that. Hi, ha ha, uh, ha ha, laughing out loud. Oh, my God, he tell me about you. Donna, Dusty, and mosquitoes, don't help. Oh, thank you. I love you. 
Yes, Junior. Junior is awesome. Thank you, Vanessa, for being into the chat and sending you out here. Thank you, Junior, for sending her here. I really, I greatly, greatly I appreciate you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, let me see. She reviews everything. Facts. Yeah, don't have about mosquitoes and dusty better mail uh, because they take full advantage of the woman and they don't want nothing but uh, sex. And then they want to try to run you and try to control what you do, right? Such as going out with your besties, maybe maybe yourself. Just going out, getting an outfit for yourself. Uh, don't ever, ever stop doing what you do, okay? Continue to make yourself look good, all right? Go get those nails done, all right? Go get that hair done. Go get them high shoes on, like Donna said. Make yourself look like a can-do type person, all right? And you can do it, all right? Why? Because you got values, all right? And when a woman has values, it will intimidate a man, all right? He wouldn't know what to say, all right? King, your 20 minute is up. Ah, right, don't you give me that. Don't you give me that, Phyllis. Don't you give me that nonsense, woman. Hey, you know what, Phyllis? Don't get offended now. Now, look here. Hey, hey, hey. I'm like TLC. Look at here, look at here, look at here. I've been watching your stream for over 20 minutes. All right? All right, King, your 20 minutes is up. Stream is so entertaining. You can't leave again. Laughing out loud. Okay, I won't leave again then. All right? Uh, I am not helping no man. That's right. So Phyllis Brown threw me under the bus. She said, King, your 20 minutes is up. <laughs> It was so entertaining. You can't leave again. I won't leave you. Never I'll leave you again. Girl, girls, claims down. Whoa. Boy, Junior's laying the, Junior's laying the smack down. Uh, Dusty want to come to you because to eat up your food. <laughs> Ask you for your necklace account number. Please don't cheat to get their own account. Laughing out loud. That's right, Donald. Dusty Mail, come in here. And they only eat up your groceries from your kids and you. Or even if you don't have kids, they try to eat up your groceries, okay? So don't get caught up and, and tangled up into uh, those type of guys because thank you for being here, Jer. Appreciate it. All right? They eat up your grocery and don't think nothing of it. That's right, Donna. They ask for your Netflix account and they eat up all your grocery. Yeah. She reviews everything. Junior, ha-ha, laughing out loud. Uh, Justin Ford Jr., Daddy, chill. You're a sexy daddy. Oh, 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 oh. Junior is Junior is bad. Junior is bad. I never saw him act like this before. Never, never. All right? She reviews everything. I want you to pay their bills. Yep. Uh, cell phone bill, uh, insurance, uh, clothes, clothes bills, anything you name, a, a, a dusty better male will try to take advantage of uh, a woman. Known good and darn well, even if she got good job and making a lot of money, he'll try to take full advantage of the situation, all right? Because he think, well, I can throw that rod real good. She ain't going to find it nowhere else. She ain't going to find it nowhere else, all right? So let me manipulate her mind to make him think that I'm the one that here for her when she need me. Don't be, don't believe in that BS, okay? It's all BS, all right? Don't let them do that. Uh, I want you to pay their bill. Welcome to New World, Daddy. Oh, wow. New World Order. Junior, you are the New World Order. I tell you, you something else. All right. Uh, Donna just being real. She reviews everything. Oh, yes. They give you a sob story. <laughs> All right. That why they need you to loan them money. You know how they think. They can't pay you back. It's in the bed. Only a dusty thing. <laughs> Oh boy, Donna, you, you uh, thinks that way. That's right, Donna. Only a uh, dusty better male uh, think that way. They will use you and leave you by mosquitoes. That's right. Excuse the mosquitoes out of there because those uh, those mosquitoes only come around and get a little a little pint of blood, and then they're done with you. Okay. And Donna's saying the same thing. She said, uh, "Reviews." She reviews everything. Yes, they give you. A sob story, a sob, a sob sorry. <laughs> That's why they need to loan you, loan them money. Uh, you know they think they can pay you back. Is in the bed. Only a dusty things that way. That's right. They will use you and leave you by mosquito. Donna, facts. 
Uh, Phyllis Brown said, Donna, I am wondering if we ever meet up with the same type of man. Uh oh, gosh, they is a piece of work. Yes, they are. And they are a lot of work and then some. Uh, Mr. Justin Ford Jr., hey, Mr. King Art, can I please get some milk? Ah, I got some. What kind of milk you want? All right. Or I got to pay a lot of shit for the react of it. I bet you will pour a lot of milk of Sonya, but I got to charge her up to $59 grand. Ha ha. Yeah. Charge her $59,000 or $50 million for pouring one glass of milk. Yeah. I don't think she will be. I don't think she'll hang around for that. But yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, she she definitely need milk. Yeah, because dusty males uh will take advantage of a woman. And if a woman allow a man to do that, shame on you. Shame on you. Right? Don't rely on any man to pay your bill. Okay. That's why a woman needs to have her stuff together. Okay. And a confident woman is a woman who is the definition of a bad chick. She knows her self-worth. All right. She is confident within herself. She don't need nobody approval. All right, no guys or any guy, even if she do have guys' phone number in her contact, she don't need their approval. Why? Because she's the definition of a bad chick. She got her own place, her own car insurance, her own cell phone bill, her own clothes. Okay, she pay her own property taxes. Okay, all right, she living the life the way she wanted. All right, this is the way she runs her life. All right, and she's not gonna waste it on some dusty, better male who are insecure. Who take advantage of women and use them for food purposes and Netflix, as Donna said earlier in the beginning of the podcast. Right? She's not gonna allow him to do that. She go kick him to the curb. Or the New York style say, go kick rocks. Or I would say go pound sand because I'm not gonna allow you to do that here. Okay. All right. So let's see what Donna's saying. Junior saying laughing out loud. Uh Phyllis Brown, long, long, long time ago. Uh oh, she telling us a story. I had a dusty. <laughs> I had a dusty. You won't catch me with one now. Absolutely not. Ooh, that is facts. One way for a man to get rid of me: just ask me for money, and I will go ghost on the man. Oh boy, Donald will go so fast on you and make your head make your head spin. I agree with that, Don. I agree with that hundred percent. Yeah, because when you see a man. Wanting something, you need to let him go. Kick him to the curb, drop him like a bad habit. All right. Uh, Living says uh, she reviews everything. My experiment went just as I thought. No makeup attracts those on the low. Make up nice clothes. The dust are scared of you. Yeah, it's because you are like raid. And what happened is when a, when a man see a woman dressed up, he's automatic terminated. OK, so basically, well, here's, how, here's how he thinks. How can I approach her? She's good looking. OK, she's way up there. OK, she's way up there. So I don't know what to say to the lady. I don't know how to approach her. I don't even know how to ask her for a phone number. OK, so when you look good and look your best and be your best and stay your best, those dusty better males, very scared of those women who are self worth it. All right. What does the fox say? Oh, I know what it says. It says that Mr. King Art needs some milk. Yeah, I need some milk bad, even though I don't drink milk no more. Yeah, I had a Dusty too, Donna. That's when I got a food puppet. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, man, God, y'all making my stomach hurt. Oh, my God. You and Donna and, and Phyllis Brown, y'all are killing my stomach. I can't take it no more. I had a Dusty too, Donna. That's when I got a food puppet to get rid of him. Oh, my God. Yeah, you don't want to mess with living your best life because she's she definitely a food puppet. Yeah. A long time ago, it was a dusty place. Oh, Mr. King Art was dating this girl, and they had a lot of issues. But the girl said, oh, baby, you are like a good daddy. You are so sexy doing to me to do. <laughs> Dude, you crazy. I uh, mean, thank you. Oh, yeah, I had my time <clears throat> where I was uh, in front of women and all that stuff. And I was being that uh, I was acting like an idiot. You will bring that tomorrow. I got to do my combos. I, I know I'm running out of time, but I do them tomorrow. Bring it back tomorrow. Yes, Junior, that's that's true. 
Uh, Dawn just being real said she reviews every day. You see makeup and night and dress nice. They they don't come around. Don't get don't get me wrong. You have the confidence. That's right, Donald. Dusty, that will try. <laughs> I just fall out laugh, laughing out loud. That's right. Because one of main, once a man see a woman <clears throat> dress nice, head from a toe, he is automatic. He he is automatic intimidated by her. I got the hiccups. Okay. She reviews everything. Food puppet. Laughing out loud. Yes. Living is a food puppet. Yeah, go like this. She controlled the master. She she controlled the puppet. Puppet. I you know I haven't did my thing in a long time. Let me show you. Give me that. Give me that thing there. Let me show you how living controlled old puppets. Right there, right there. Living like this. Hey, puppet. Dance, puppet, dance. Dance, dance, dance. Go get me some red lobster. I feel like clam tonight. I feel like red bottled wine. Make sure you spend hundred to hundred fifty dollars on that wine. If you don't, I'm going to demiss you, and you know will be no more, and I'm gonna block your ass. All right. That's basically what Living said. All right, because I'm not. I don't like you. I'm not into you. But you all gonna be the big dummy that gonna go out and buy me food because I'm not into you. All right, and these guy does that. All right, they go into that. All right, I haven't did that in a long time. All right, but that's why I did that. All right, yes, I believe in my food puppets. Oh, but, but. I know you do. Don't make me one. All right, uh, she reviews everything, laughing out loud. Dance, puppet, dance. That's right. Living your best life, make them dance like a bad habit. All right, Dan, even if they don't know how to dance, she'll make them dance. All right, let me show you how to dance, boy. All right, let me show you how to do the moonwalk. Let me show you how to do the Michael Jackson dance, all right? <clears throat> all right? Dance, puppet, dance. Dance, dance, dance. Laughing out loud. I'm cracking up over here. Yep. Dance them. Dance them out to the... Hey, hey, living. Dance them out to... Dance them out of your house. Yeah, dance them out of your house. I am dying. Yep. Dance them out. Dance, dance your ass out of my house because you are dusty better male and you're a fool because I'm smarter than you are. You will do it because you believe that if I buy all this stuff for this woman, this woman will finally give me a chance. No, she's not. She's using your ass because she can. And you're the fool from doing it. So therefore, dance your little, you know what, out of the house. And then don't contact me for about a while or a week. And then when I finally call you, then I call you again to bring me some McDonald's. Even though I don't eat McDonald's, okay? That's how it is, all right? Yeah. Laugh my ass off. I can't tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I know Donald will get a kick out of it and live it. So that's what living does with these guys, all right? And quite frankly, let me tell you the secret. It does work. Why? Because I did it. See, I didn't put to tell y'all that. I used to think, let me buy this girl this. She will like me. Nope. I was a dusty, dummy, dummy black male. Didn't know better, all right? It took me a while to catch on. Hold on a minute. I'm buying this lady this. This lady's not into me, okay? Because as she see me as a dusty, low-key black male, all right? I don't have nothing going on with my life. I'm a, a low-volume guy who don't have confidence enough to talk to the woman face-to-face -face and tell her what I really want. So I learned my lesson, right? And that's how these guys are when they uh, go out and try to buy something for a woman, thinking that uh, it will get them where they need to be at, all right? Okay? Okay? So that's how these guys end up in the puppet master, so to speak, um, string attached, you know, like this, you know, go buy me this, and I, I might give you a chance, or I might give you a kiss on the cheek, just to make you feel good, okay, <clears throat> that's not allowed, I can't tonight, I feel like ice cream, uh-oh, oh boy, I should not, I shouldn't tell you I was a better male one time, I was a, a pup, uh, I was a puppet, uh-oh, I'm in trouble, uh-oh, I'm in trouble with living now, so that's what these guys do, these guys don't have no clue how to approach a woman, right? And they get caught up and tied up into that into that thing where they're thinking that um, if they do all the stuff for that lady, that lady will give them a chance, right? There's no chance in in hell this lady will give you a chance. She basically using you, okay? She basically using you to the best of her ability, her ability. All right, let me get it right. And there's no way 
no way in hell she go to uh give you that chance, okay? All right. Uh, they never get a chance. That, that's what I'm saying. They never get a chance. So it's basis a loss. It's a big loss for those, all right? All right. That's like my look at me, my girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Uh she had a boyfriend and um um I didn't I didn't hound her. I didn't chase her, even though she wanted me to. So what I did when I know she had a, a boyfriend, I just stopped contacting her. Not that I would try to manipulate her or anything. It's just that I stopped talking to her for a while. And then um he basically messed up. He stopped complaining about her and he kept bringing up her new car. You and your new Honda. He was hating on her because she was a responsible, strong sister. Okay. I'm talking about a black girl. All right. And she had her own shit together. She had a condo. All right. She got two sons. And I, they really, they're cool. We get along real good. Her older son is 17. And her younger son is, uh, is uh, he just turned, he just turned 12. So we get along real good. So, he kept complaining and then telling her, oh, you and your new Honda, you and this, you and that. And so she finally got tired of him and said, look, I'm not doing it no more. So she she told me she broke up with him over the phone. You know, like, you no, know, she called him up and said, it's, it's over with. All right. So then um, um, one time out of the blue, she called me up and she said, guess what I did? And I didn't even call her. I didn't ask her for it. And I said, what do you do? I said, I think I know what you did, but I'll listen. So I didn't want to interrupt her. I didn't want to, I didn't want to spoil what she about to ask me or tell me. So I let her went in and told me. She said, Well, you know, me and my boyfriend, I, I broke up with my boyfriend, and he just, he just, he need, she said he need to get his life together. That's basically what she said. And she said she gave the guy on a how many chance, and the guy seemed like he don't care. And she said she wasn't going to wait around uh, for him to decide what he wanted to do because she said, I know I'm a good woman. I said, Of course you're a good woman. And I said, If any man pass up on this opportunity, he's a fool. Okay. And that's best what I told her. So that, that must be stuck with her. You know, I wasn't doing it to try to get in her pants or try to make her go out with me. I was, what I was saying to her was, any man pass up a good woman like you who's work, who well worked for a while, she got a good paying job, she worked for the governor, all right? He's a fool, okay? She she got her stuff together. She's a definition of a bad chick, all right? So so she said, now I'm officially a nine. So I started laughing. So I, I know what a nine means, all right? I said, huh? I said, okay, so now you're a nine. So now you call me up. I say, tell me what you really called me up for. Did you call me up to tell me that you broke up with this guy? Or you called me up to tell me that you are nine? So she started laughing. She thought that was hilarious. All right. So I say, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm a nine, but uh, I'm a high value woman now. So all right. You should be. Let's see what Libby's saying. Best way to break up is through an email. Okay. That's good. Review. Say email. Laughing out loud. Well, Libby, that's kind of lame, right? That's kind of lame. Why would you do that? Tell me why will you do that? Hold on. Review, say email. Why would <laughs> because she don't want to see is a oh again. Oh, okay. I'm gonna see his ass again. I got you. ASS. Ah oh, boy. Y'all women are terrible. Boy, I'm glad I, I'm glad I'm I'm glad I don't date none of y'all because boy, y'all be like King Art, it's not working out. Okay. I can see Donna now. Listen, you your black dusty dead better man. It's not gonna work out. Leave me alone. I can see living now. Thank you for the time that we spent. I'm just saying what you might say, but I don't think I want to proceed further with this relationship. We're not on the same level. Oh, I can see that email now. I'm just thinking what y'all, I don't really know what y'all are thinking, but I'm just saying, all right, don't pay me no mind. I'm just joking. All right. Well, you know, sometimes I had broke up with a lady over email. I said, hey, um, you know, I didn't draw it out and made a boy. I said, look, I don't think we should continue to end the relationship. I think we should go our separate ways, and that's it. I didn't give her no detail why. I just didn't want to do it no more because I don't think it was going in the, in the direction that I wanted to go and she wanted to go. It's not that we was arguing. It's just that it was something fishy about it, and I didn't like it. Yeah. I just go ghost so much easier. Yeah, ghost, that's the most easy way to get rid of somebody. You ghost them. You don't contact them. Yeah, you break all contact. Uh, 
it, it does hurt when a woman goes a man. Yeah, it does hurt. Uh, it does hurt a lot. All right, but uh, it, it does hurt. And why it hurt? Because you don't expect for that woman to do that to you. Okay, you don't expect for her to do anything like that to you. It's just the way it is. Uh, some people go to Goshen. Some people go break up with you over email. And some people might break up with you over a text message. Here's the thing my wife did. <laughs> she called me up. I'm going to tell y'all a quick story. I was coming from, I was getting out of work one one um, Wednesday. I remember it was real good. It was in the, in the, it was in the winter time. It was like now. It was in the, you know, fall, whatever it was. Yeah. I don't go to a man if he had a serious relationship. Now I just start dating. Yes, I will go him. I know you will, Donna. Back in the day, through a fax. Yeah, fax. Yeah, I remember that. So she, 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 my wife, my wife called me up. Let me tell you how she, she told me it was over. She called me up. And she said, I'm going for a divorce. I said, okay. All right. Thanks for letting me know. Bam. Hung up. That was it. I didn't beg her. I didn't plead with her. I said, give her what she want. She want a divorce. Give her what she want. All right. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. T quite frankly, I was born in this world by myself and definitely sure now I'm not going to take nothing out of the world. All right. That's what the Bible said. Surely we've been born into the world and we sure are not going to take nothing out of it. So, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I can't force her to stay with me and I will not force a woman uh, to stay with me if she don't want to. Thank you, living. All right. So when she said that I want a divorce, I said, OK, I gave I just say, OK, I didn't argue with her. I didn't, you know, and she said, OK. And then you know, the next day she said, she said, thank you for understanding. That's what she said. And she said, thank you for understanding. That's one thing I remember about my ex-wife. What She said, she said, thank you for understanding. And I said, no problem. No hard feelings. And I can't tell you. all I got to keep quiet. Shh. I might be I might be giving out my information for my how to get your ex back. So I got to keep quiet, okay? I want to tell y'all. I don't want to tell you too much because I give out the information about how to get your ex back, all right? So I got to keep quiet. I, I almost spilled the bean, but I caught myself, all right? So so she did say, uh, I appreciate you for understanding. And I said, all right, well, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I look at it. Oh, 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 oh. all right. So that's why we got to... Uh, uh, you know, if somebody uh, ghosts you, that because they don't, they're not, they're not, um, they're not uh, into you, okay? And she don't look at you like that. That's why why a woman would ghost a man, all right? Spill the beat, spill the tea. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Nope. It's for another video, my dear. Another video, my dear. You have to come back if you want to hear about it. Ah! <clears throat> if I spill the beans... Ain't no sense for me doing that video because I've been, I put it all in this video and I don't think nobody going to watch a one hour playback unless you're a very loyal person. Yeah. So I might well go ahead and do a pre recorded video and make it about six minutes long, about eight minutes long. Uh, chop it up real quick. I don't, an eight minute video is not that long for some people because some people they get, they get so caught up and tied up into networking. Uh, eight minutes to them feel like 20 minutes. All right. So sometimes you have to cut it short. I say about, a good six minutes on a on a topic is good on a, on these type of relationship or oh, fifteen minutes even fifteen minutes not that long okay because on my video that I made with uh can a short man get tall women that video went value that video did one thousand and eight hundred views it was on a fit or fifteen minutes just tell uh we won't tell ah uh, no my dear if I tell you now and when I do make the video. You gonna know the question already. Well, you are gonna know the answer already. So why would I tell you now? Huh? Don't try to don't try to bait me in um telling you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> huh? You okay, Keyshawn? Oh, okay. All right. Just tell uh we won't tell. <laughs> Donald might Donald might get me if I tell you. Yeah, Donald might get me. Donald told me wait. Donald told me wait till I do the video. <laughs> Donald said, wait, do the video then. Don't tell, don't tell nobody now. Yeah, don't tell nobody. 
Yeah, she said, wait and do the video. Play it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you want me to, should I tell you a little bit of it? Should I tell you a little bit of it? Living? You want me to tell you a little bit? I've been live for one hour and seven minutes and, and some of my seconds into the chat. Got Donald's been real, and put his brown and a bunch of other people up into the chat. Jaron and everybody up and Junior Justin Ford Jr. And Vanessa, make sure you come back, Vanessa. Tell us. Okay. Damn it, living. Shoot. You gonna make me give out my information? Well, I might not do a video then. I might well go ahead and put it all out, right? That'll save me some time. Ah! Oh, uh, you, you sure you want me to tell you, living? Donna might be watching. All right, have a good night, Donna. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Love you. All right. All right, I tell you, I tell you. Um, you know how you you know how you get your ex back. And your and your woman and your man back. But act like you don't care, okay? Don't contact him. If he decided he want to break it off, even if it's somebody you dating now, he decided to come out and say, "Look, I don't think it's gonna work." Don't argue with him. Don't fight with him. Give him what he wants. Let him go. Right? As they always say, "No, don't." Uh, <laughs> See, I know Donald was gonna say something. No, don't tell. All right, I won't tell. I'll try to be nice to living. But uh, Donna said, don't tell, Donna. I'm in living. Check my head. You should have saved it for a video. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't tell the whole thing. See, living, you get me in trouble with Donna. All right. I didn't tell y'all all the beans. I just told you a little bit of it. But that's not all of it. It's more to come. So I tell y'all on a pre recorded video. I think that's about right because if I tell you everything on here. Uh, like I said earlier, ain't nobody going to watch a one hour and, and 57 minute video to find out what I said. It had to be a video about seven minutes or eight minutes long or five minutes. You just got to chop it up real good. All right. I think five minutes is a little too fast. Uh, well, I think if you no, I think if you do a 10 minute, and you're going to narrow it down to about like five or six minutes. You want to add it out about five or six minutes. That's about good. All right. You are in trouble now. I know. Thanks to you. You got me in trouble with Donna. Damn it. All right. So I think I'm going to save it. I'll save it for another video, Living. Uh, I'm moving my table. Uh, I'm going to save it for another video. So you can actually watch the whole video in full and leave a decent comment. And I'm going to tell you, eight minutes. Yeah, eight minutes is about right. Yeah, eight minutes. I can chop it up in eight minutes. Yeah, that's not it. It's not a very long, drawn out uh, how to get her back or him back. You just got to chop it up and, and, and then end it. That's all. End it on a short note. Don't make it, don't draw it out. All right. Just end it on a short note. Like I did that video you asked me to do. End it. Say, I got more to tell you, but I can't tell you now. And that's all I got. Okay. Y'all have a great day. I won't do it like that, but I end it on a, a on a short note so you guys can um, know what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. So I've been live for about one hour and uh, three minutes and 17 seconds to the chat. All right. I will be back. Uh, uh, tonight, I might do a. Uh, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and pick up my daughter, and I'm gonna leave my. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a. Uh, I'm going to create a uh, a screen for Bible for about two hours. All right, and then when I come back, I'm gonna shut it off, and uh, I'm gonna do that. I can go. Okay, good night, good night. So make sure you come back and leave a like and a comment. Thank you, Living. I gotta check your video out uh, on your other channels too. All right, and uh, then I'm currently playing um a new subscriber playlist because she's been playing mine, and I and I've been running hers uh, for about four days now. So because because she's been running mine, and I gave her, I gave her my word that I will play it. I right? will play her playlist because she's playing mine. All right, all right. So uh, thank you all for coming into the chat. And have a great night. Uh, come back later because I'm gonna have a uh, a Bible thing going on. I'm gonna set it up now. Uh, when I leave, I got to leave here about 9.40 or something, maybe 9, what time it is now? Uh, it's 8.35, so I'm going to leave here like 9.20 to go pick up my daughter, or 9.30 go pick her up. So I might set it, I might start it at 9.30, okay? Just come back at 9.30, and I set it up, and then it, I let it run for about two hours, and then I shut it off. 
All right. Thank you all for coming into the chat. All right. I have a good night. I love you all. Bye.